Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to be covering topics under the standard 2.2 in fourth grade and under the study island topic multiplication and division. So we're going to be looking at problems on how to multiply problems and you could be multiplying three digits by three digit numbers down to two digit by one digit numbers. So if you ever need any extra help with that, feel free to just Google multiplication three digit by three digit and you can come up with some more practice for that maybe a little bit different from study island although study island is a great practice tool also and we're also going to be looking at long division taking one digit numbers divided by two and three digit numbers and if you we're going to be taking some notes and some tips and tricks to remember all of those steps so please make sure that you're copying those down if I go too fast just pause the video and you can even rewind so that you can get caught back up also and you can even try out pausing at the beginning of the question you working out the multiplication or division and then watching the video and then when you've shown all your work you can go through and see where it is that you made a mistake or see that you've done everything perfect and that way you can get a gauge of how much and where you need to be studying. I am I'm so glad that you are joining us today and let's go ahead and take some notes. So if you're multiplying a two digit number by a one digit number you're going to take that one digit number times the ones column and if you need to you'll write down the ones place value and carry the tens so here that means you write down the eight and carry the one then you will take the one digit number times the 10 column, add the number you carried. So here that would be 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And since that's our last number, we can write down all of 113, and that makes 138 my answer. So here's some of the example problems following those, those problems. So here I'm going to take one, 3 times 7, which is 21. So I'm going to write down the 1 and carry the 2. And then I take 3 times the second 7 in the tens column, which is 21, add the 2. 21 plus 2 is 23. I write down the 23, and my answer is 231. Here I have a 1-digit number times a 3-digit number, but it's the same steps. I just have to do it one more time. So I'm going to take 2 times 3, which is 6. Then I'm going to take 2 times 9, which is 18, so I write down the 8 and carry the 1. And then I take 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 is 5. So that's going to be 586 as my final answer. Now when you start adding a 2-digit number on the bottom, and then you have a 2-digit times a 2-digit, or a 2-digit times a 3-digit number, there's going to be a few more steps. And we can use the acronym many zoo many animals to help us remember that. So first you're going to multiply the ones column by all the numbers in the top. And then you have to add a zero. And then you're going to multiply the tens column by all the numbers in the top. And then you're going to add those two numbers. And here are some examples. So remember our acronym is many zoos, many animals. So my first step is going to be to multiply. So I'm going to take 9 times 5 is 45. So I write down the 5 and carry the 4. And then 9 times 3 is 27 plus the 4. 27 plus 4 is 31. So I write down the 1 and carry the 3. And then 9 times 5 is 45 plus the 3 is 48. So that was the first multiply and now I write down a 0 and that's the 0 and then I multiply the second number which is going to be the 6. So these carry numbers I'm going to cross them out so they don't confuse me. You could erase them if they were using pencil. And so I'm going to take 6 times 5, which is 30, so I'm going to write down the 0 and carry the 3. I'm going to take 6 times 3, which is 18, plus the 3 I carried is 21. So I write down the 1 and carry the 2. And then I take 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 2 is 32. And that's the second multiply. Then the last step is going to be to add those two numbers. 
So I'm going to have 5 plus 0 is 5, 1 plus 0 is 1, 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 plus 6, 2 is 6, and then I have the 3. So my final answer here is 36,915. Okay. The next example here is similar. I'm going to need to know that acronym to help me remember all the steps. Many zoos, many animals. So my first step is to multiply. So I'm going to take that multiply and multiply 2 times 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. Write down the 6, carry the 1. And then 8 times 5 is 40. Add the 1 is 41. Write down the 1, carry the 4. 8 times 5 is 40, plus the 4 is 44. And then I have to do the same thing with the 6. So I'm going to add a 0. And I'm going to take 6 times 2 is 12, write down the 2, and I'm going to carry the 1. I'm going to cross this out so I don't get confused. And then 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 1 is 31, write down the 1, carry the 3. And then 6 times 5 is 30 again, add the 3 is 33. However, I still have this 2, so that means I'm going to have to repeat the many zoos part again. So I'm gonna have to mult I'm gonna have to write down that zero, but this time it's two zeros. Since it's the third line, every time you add another line, you're gonna add in more zeros. And then I'm gonna take the two times everything. So I'm gonna take two times two is four. I'm gonna scratch these numbers out on top so they don't confuse me. Two times five is ten. So I write down the zero and carry the one. And then two times five is ten again, plus the one is eleven. Now I finally get to add up all of those numbers. And 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3. 4 plus 1 plus 4 is 9. 4 plus 3 is 7. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then I have my 1. And so my final answer for number 5 is 147,936. Our next set of problems are going to be long division problems, and we have a couple of ways that we can multiply all of, remember all of the steps to long division. So those steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and you keep repeating until you are, have no more numbers to bring down. And you can remember that because you can have daddy divide, mommy multiply, sister subtract, brother bring down, and rover repeat. So you can remember your family for each step. We also have this rhyme. Long division makes you wiser. Divide and place the answer on top. Multiply it in the divisor. Subtract, bring down, and do not stop. So pick one of these ways that helps you remember um, this, all the steps you need for long division. So here I'm looking at long division, and I'm going to write down my steps, at least the first letter of each one. So I have daddy divide, mommy multiply, sister subtract, brother bring down, and rover repeat. So my first step is to divide. So I'm going to look at three, and can I divide three into two? No, it's too big. Can I divide three into eight? or into 28. Yes, I can. So how many times does 3 go into 28 without going over? So it can go in 9 times, and this is when knowing your multiplication facts is very handy. So that was the divide step. And then I'm going to do multiply. 9 times 3 is 27. So I write that 27 under 28. And then I do sister subtract. And that's going to be 1. And then I look for brother bring down. And I don't have any numbers after 8 to bring down. So I'm done. So that means here my answer is 9. And this number at the bottom here is my remainder. So it's 9 remainder 1, which is choice C. So here's another division problem. And I'm going to have my daddy divide, mommy multiply, sister subtract, brother bring down, and rover repeat. So I'm going to think about, okay, how many times does 3 divide into 3? Well, that's once. So I'm going to write a 1. 
That's the divide step. And then I'm going to multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. That's the multiply step. And then I subtract. 3 minus 3 is 0. And then I'm going to bring down. So I'm going to bring down the 7. And then I'm going to repeat. So that means I'm going to go back to the beginning and look at divide. How many times does 3 divide into 7? Well, it divides in twice. So let's divide again. And then I'm going to multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Let's multiply again. And then I subtract again, and that's 1. And then I don't have any numbers left to bring down. So that means here my remainder is just going to be 1. So my final answer here is 12 remainder 1, which is choice D. Here's a multiplication problem where I have a three-digit number underneath the division symbol, but it's still the same steps. I'm still going to have daddy divides, mommy multiplies, sister subtracts, brother brings down, and Rover repeats. And so I'm going to look at, can 6 divide into 2? Well, 6 is bigger than 2, so no. Can 6 divide into 24? Yes. So I'm going to parade a 4 above the 4 and 24. And that's the divide part. And then I'm going to multiply 6 times 4 is 24. Then I'm going to subtract. 24 minus 24 is 0. And then I'm going to bring down. So that means I'm going to bring down this 6. And then I'm going to repeat again. So that means I'm going to go back to the divide. And I'm going to think about how many times does 6 divide into 6. Well, it divides in once, so I'm going to write the 1, and then I'm going to multiply 1 times 6 is 6, then I subtract 6 minus 6 is 0, and now I don't have any more numbers to bring down, so I do not have a remainder here, so my answer here is just 41. Here's another division problem. So I'm going to have those steps of daddy divides, mommy multiplies, Sister subtracts, brother brings down, and Rover repeats. And so I'm going to be looking at first, can 5 divide into 2? No, 5 is bigger than 2, so it can't. So I look at the first two numbers instead. Can 5 divide into 25? Yes, it divides into 25 five times. So I rate a 5 above the 5 and 25. And that was the divide step. So now I multiply 5 times 5 is 25. And then I subtract, which is 0. And then I bring down. So I have to bring down the 8. And that means now it's time to repeat. So I go back to the beginning and I do divide. How many times does 5 go into 8? It goes in one time. Then I do the multiply. 1 times 5 is 5. And then I do the subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3. And now I'm out of numbers to bring down, so that means I'm going to have a remainder of 3. So my final answer here is 51 remainder of 3, which is choice A. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you learned something new.